Hello everyone and welcome to this 1-6 scale unboxing of Padme Amidala from Attack of the Clones, Star Wars. And you can see the box, very nicely done. It's got a little um, emboss with the, the actual Star Wars logo there. As we turn around 360, I had pre-ordered this from SciShow uh, just a little bit after when I found out that it was available. It's completely sold out unfortunately now. If you went to SciShow, it's on wait list I guess right now. But you can see the back of the box. Very nicely, just plain, just a style of, I guess, of normally what what um what Hot Toys does. And you can see, see that as I did that slip cover, it's got a really nice looking a little windowed uh, box there with the 20th anniversary uh, of Star Wars. 20 years. So really nice to done. Almost kind of throw back to the Kenner Star Wars figures, it kind of looks like. Uh, we'll look at the manual first, our instruction sheet, before we actually get into the figure. So if I can, I'm going to save you some time, do some editing. Took me a while to get this out of the bag. I guess I have this little bag here. Um, so we'll take it out, take a look at the instruction sheet, and then we'll take a look at the figure in all its glory, I guess you could say. But yeah, uh, this is actually the, the movie masterpiece, I guess. It has the rolling eye system, 28 points of articulation, and all that good stuff. And a couple of accessories you can kind of see there's hands, there's a probably relax and fist hand in there, and probably one to hold, hold the, the blaster pistol and the blaster rifle. But as you can see, there it is Star Wars. Attack of the Clones, Padme Amidala. So yeah, this is her look in that movie. Definitely, we'll look at the the portrait, see if it captured uh, Natalie Portman, Portman's likeness, which it pretty much did. And kind of cool how they included this little poster of the two right there as part of the instruction sheet. Oh, really cool, really nice little, little nice little thing there. Because there is a companion piece with Anakin as a figure, which I didn't get. I didn't uh, get, but it's, you know, since I've got this uh, Princess Leia. The first episode um, from the Star Wars original trilogy, you can kind of see a lot of good instructions, pretty well. You know how to take the head off and you know, adjust the the rolling eye system, and got different. There's different accessories you can sign it the little cape and the little little head gear. And I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm not going to take this out of the bag, but I'll, you get near the end, I'll completely show her the figure with both these items on. Um, so it was really nice. That's a nice little accessory that they included. The cape and the little little hood piece. You don't really don't see her very. I don't remember seeing her very much. It's been a while since I've seen this movie in that that headpiece and the covered uh, headgear. It does have a diorama. I think this, this is probably like the, the Droid Factory. I guess Droid uh, little piece to the diorama, which is kind of interesting. Interesting that it's not. You know, it just you just lay it on there. There's two of these actually, and I'll show you um, what they look like. But yeah, the detail, the painting, everything looks really nicely done. As was usual with the hot toys quality, and we'll remove um, the figure stand. It's kind of nice. I like the crotch grabber. It's not different. It's white instead of the normal black, which is cool. I mean, you can see she's all in white, so it really doesn't stand out. So it's a very nice little thing that the hot toys did on that aspect too, because they're normally black. But here, a little extra. It looks like wrist pegs. So it's pretty nice that they include those in case they break. And there is a look at the hands real quick. There's a it's like the one of the the holds the blaster pistol, one one pose really not too many too many hand poses but not too bad I mean it cover every all the bases and that looks like it again that might be with the blaster rifle hand and these are just the fist hands and then the ones that are included with her are just the relaxed standard hands and here is the blaster pistol up close you can definitely tell it's got a little chrome finish to it looks pretty cool and if you keep an eye on that barrel it does extend and it contracts pretty cool little feature did not even know that blaster pistol did that movie so kind of cool here's the blaster rifle kind of nicely detailed really just all plastic nothing no metal piece no other no other um material it's made of but nicely um sculpted and really really looks good i mean it's definitely definitely has a nice little feel to it really um pretty light but yeah just a nice little blaster rifle that she carried during the movie that she used so very briefly but her main thing was that blaster pistol she had so the next item we're going to look at this is the little tool and we'll kind of show that really quick plastic that actually is a little tool to, to manipulate to manipulate her eyes since this does have you can you know change the direction and i'll demonstrate that show you her, her eyes move the rolling eye system they call it i guess and the first thing before we look at her let's take out the base and there is the base. Very light, not solid by no means. It's definitely, um, it's definitely just it's all plastic. Almost feels hollow. 
Um, if I can take this plastic protective wrap over it. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, nice paint. Very nice little weather, little almost like the droid factory, I guess, a droid um, look. So, yeah, nicely done. But very simple. It does have an area you can kind of see in the front where the, the Star Wars nameplate goes on, which is interesting. It's not in, it's not stuck on there. It's like you got you got to add it on there. I guess it's kind of interesting that they did that. But yeah, here's the the other piece of the droid diorama base. You just I'm trying to figure out. I guess you just put it, just set it on there. There's no, yeah, interesting. Well, well, I'll I'll show that once we get her on the um, the stand. Put everything together. It does have a little plastic uh, protective. The top of the nameplate, like which I'll take off later, or may not take off. But I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably end up taking it off. Um, but yeah, just stick it on like that, so it stays on. I mean, there's no other. It comes off easily, so you would think that would be glued on, almost like it would be like a mistake to it fall off in the factory. All right, let's put the stand together. Usually these are pretty hard to to put these in. Sometimes they get really tough, but this was actually went in really nice and uh, pretty easy. So very nice to uh, surprise it. That actually went on with no issues at all. So, and I guess those go in the front, and we'll we'll put those once we get all the the figure displayed. We'll put that and show you what it looks like. Um, here we're looking at the figure herself, and we'll take off all this protective plastic wrap around her as usual. With their most figures usually have these things plastic protecting the the shoes, the hands, the feet, and even the the head sculpt and so forth. But yeah, we'll pull these off not too easily, not too bad. And we'll take the the wrap off the head sculpt and there's also if you notice there's also a wrap around her neck so i'm gonna have to take off that head i'll do that off camera later on and um, show you that but oh one first thing this actually the little her little ponytail there or whatever that little piece actually comes off and that's actually helpful when um when we put the the head covering on but here is going to demonstrate let's kind of show you this little tool the little uh, rolling eyeballs Let's just get it back in there. It just takes a little finagling to it. I'm, I'm not going to show you the whole process uh, to do it because sometimes it's just just to get it right. You can kind of see it kind of say, whoops, trying to get the, the right direction, being upside down. But, yeah, the way they got this set up, you know, on the neck, there it is. Um, so you can really move her eyes anywhere. I mean, this is this has been a technology the Hot Toys has done for quite a while. And there's other bunch of figures and one-six scale figure manufacturers that do the same similar now. Um, and also, there is a functional holster for the blaster pistol right in there. But yeah, um, it wasn't too bad putting, you know, taking the head off, sculpt, and, and moving the eyes in different directions. It's really nicely done. And you kind of see, this is going to do some beauty. These last part of the video, I'm going to do some beauty shots, kind of showing. The, you can kind of see the sculpt. Very nice. Very pretty sculpt. They definitely got the Natalie Portman likeness down. Pretty much well done. I mean, that sculpt. The paint apt, everything, Hot Toys quality. And looking at the the quality of the, the outfit too, you can kind of see the the fabric, really nicely tailored and really nicely done as well. Um, but yeah, there she is. She also does stand on her own, so no stand required if you don't care to use the stand. But she does uh, stand without it. And even doing a 360 on her, she even stands pretty easily without tumbling over. But you know, like I said, I'll probably more likely will display her with her. The included diorama stand uh, for sure but yeah there it is i'm going to show you a bunch of different poses but overall very impressed with this figure in hand i mean actually looking at photos and stuff that the promotional you know photos they've hot toys have done i knew this is going to be a really good figure hot toys never disappoints very often i mean they can disappoint in certain releases but it's been a while since i got a good hot toys figure and you can see she's got her cape on which is really easy to put on and you can actually manipulate that. I'm thinking there's maybe... It's really hard to tell there's even a wire in the edge. There could be. It's really, really thin if there is. But you can manipulate that um, and kind of pose it in certain ways as desired. I just kind of threw it, her, threw it on there real quick. Kind of show you what it looks like with that cape on. And I probably will display her like that with um, with that um, with her tunic or whatever you want to call that. Um, there she, she has on that that cape so yeah i definitely will use that um for sure so yeah use that cape and then also there is the headpiece right there um like i said i don't remember seeing her in that but that actually too was actually easy to to put on and kind of um the form on her and kind of pose it on there so yeah 
It all looks like just a really good package overall, the figure. And if you could find her on more than likely, unfortunately, third party, which is, you know, aftermarket, maybe someone sells it, probably is going to be increased price, unfortunately. Um, like I said, I'm, I saw, when I saw, when they advertised it before it went on pre order, I was like, you know, I definitely wanted to get this figure. Um, I don't have too many Star Wars figures from the, the prequels. I think I might have a few from Sideshow and the, the droid, the battle droids and stuff like that. And um, but this is probably the first, um, probably the first Hot Toys I've, I've actually bought in a long time that actually was from the prequels, from the so at, least, at least Episode Two or even that's the only thing I mean. I have some of the clone troopers, but most of those were really years, years ago. I think when when Sideshow um, released a couple of those, but this is probably my first Hot Toys that I can think of from the from the prequels, Star Wars um, movies. But yeah, overall, very impressed. Um, I was going to probably display her right next to my Hot Toys um, Princess Leia from the the first original New Hope, Star Wars New Hope, um, her in her white dress, but. I don't think I have any room in the, my DTOF. I've already got some other Star Wars figures um, displayed with her, so I'll probably end up putting her in another uh, built-in shelf with I have um, some other Star Wars and I think some Princess Leia statues and so forth. So, so more than I can put her in there. But yeah, just kind of doing some different poses. Kind of she does pose well. Some good action shots. I mean, even with you can see without the stand, she does um, stand pretty well. Um, but yeah, just the fit and finish. I mean, even looking at if you want to go down to the the body proportions, I think they did a pretty pretty splendid job um, body proportions wise, height wise. Um, I think it's got like I said, 28 points of articulation. It's about height wise, I think it's 27 centimeters high. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely it's, it's she is a shorter figure. I mean, just just the actress herself, but um, yeah, just look at that that sculpt. You definitely see Natalie Portman in that portrait right there in that head sculpt. And even the hair, very nicely sculpted, the paint. Yeah, so I'm very impressed. Um, I mean, even the battle rifle, I mean, it's, you, know, you kind of see the the little white pegs there on the, the crotch grabber, I guess. is really nice. Like I said, really nice touch that they didn't do those in black like they normally would. You would see those are standard. So there is the, the whole diorama base. And and then more, some more close-ups, some more beauty shots of her just kind of showing the, I mean, even the, her lips, the, the paint, and everything. I mean, their eyes and stuff. Like I said, I don't. I probably may just end up having her once in a while. I might um, pose her eyes in different, um, a different position and stuff like that. But yeah, look at that. Even the side profile looks really, really good. Yeah, just, just a really, take very photogenic. The, the figures. I mean, there's, most figures are. You can see the, you get some more of a detail there. I mean, even the skin. I mean, look at that. Yeah, very impressed. Um, I hope. This hope this video was helpful. Um, if you do, hopefully get you know if you can pick one up, you know, at the aftermarket somewhere. Um, I mean, it's been out for sold out for quite a while from the main major outlets. But thanks again for sticking around. Appreciate you and um, hit that subscribe button for a few more future videos. Hit the notification bell and you get the like if you like it. If you don't, you can do the other the other thing. So, till the next one, take care.